good morning students today we will know about numpy numpy stands for numerical python that means in numpy uh, we can do mathematical calculations and this mathematical calculations are done on arrays or matrices in an array we can store only homogeneous elements that means data type should be same it can be integer it can be float it can be character but it should be same in an array you can have just same data type that is homogeneous today we are going to deal with 1d array in 1d array we will learn about what is element what are index values so now we see how can we create array as you are seeing first i have written import numpy as n this is the statement this is the first statement you have to write because if in your system numpy is installed or not you are checking this if numpy is already installed it will not give any error if it is not installed you have to first install numpy now in this statement you are writing import numpy as n import numpy is mandatory you have to write it as it is after that you are writing keyword as that is a keyword keywords are reserved words then you are writing np np is user defined this is the name you will provide next in next line you have written hash hash is for comment that means after hash whatever you will write will be ignored by the interpreter uh this is for user knowledge for the programmer knowledge that what you are doing in this program you have written creating a 1d array that means you will create 1d array in this program now a1 is equal to np dot array bracket then square bracket then 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 7 comma 8 then square bracket close finally bracket close this is you have created an array a1 is the name of array which you have created this is user defined you can give any name then np np stands for numpy here you can write numpy or np or you can say np you have used np as a short name for numpy which you have defined in first line then dot np dot array then you have started bracket then square brackets in square brackets you have put the values or you can say element for the array you can give any element of the you can give any element in this array then you have to see or you have to print the array then you have written print within brackets a1 then you will save this program and you will run this program you can see here the output the values of array 1 2 3 7 8 these are the elements of an array these are the elements of the array for each element of the array you have index value for the first element you have zero index value then 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 like this last element will have index value less than one number of element that is n minus 1 so now i am changing variable name for you suppose it is a2 then here also 
I have to change A2 and then I will give the values, different values. Suppose 18, 19, 20, 26, 78 like this. You can give any value. Now I will save this program. And now we will run this program. So we can see the values 18, 90, 20, 26, 70. Suppose now I want to print the value on index value 2. On index value 2. Index will be written within square brackets. I want to check the value present on index value 2. That is our 20. Again we will save. We will run. You can see it has printed 20. Like this you can see for 5. Five. Zero, one, two, three, four. You have just 4 index value. 78 has index value 4. 5 is not present. So there is an error. You can see it for 4. 78. This is positive index. That means from starting value you can have positive index. From the last value you can have negative index. Suppose I say minus 1. Minus 1 will have 78. Minus 2, 26. Minus 3, 20. Minus 4, 90. Minus 5, 80. So we will save it and run it. 78 for minus 2. Twenty six for minus three, twenty like this for minus four, it's nineteen for minus three, for minus five, so for minus five, it's eighty. For positive index value, you can have. From 0. It's 18. For 1. It's 19. For 2. It's 20. For 3. It's 26. For 4 index value, it's 78. If you want to print complete array, then remove this square bracket. You can have your complete array printed. So, this was for today. Now, next topic I will deal in my next video. Thank you.